Hello everybody, my name is Paige. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Um, hope everybody's having a great, wonderful day. And in today's video, we are going to be dyeing my Great Pyrenees' tail. So this is Mello. This is Mello's tail. And we're going to be dyeing it today. Um, so before we actually dye it, we do have to patch test um, it, which is basically where you dye a portion of his tail, or you dye a portion on their skin to make sure they are not allergic to it. Um, we did ask her a vet, she said, yeah, his, he should be fine dyeing it. Just make sure that you patch test it so that he does not um, develop an allergy or anything. So we got over here, we have our dye. So we're actually doing two colors on his tail. We are doing a blue, a light blue, and we are doing a purple. Um, so we're gonna do like a blue into a purple, have purple at the end. The purple has not arrived yet, so um, this is why we are currently patch testing it. So this is not a complete tutorial because this is the first time I've ever dyed a dog's tail. Um, so we're using blue. And then we do have a um, hair dye thing and some a glove to dye his tail. Again, not a tutorial. Have never done this before, so this is gonna be something new. So this is the Crazy Liberty dye that we are using. It comes in this tube. Let's open it up. So yeah. So it looks a lot darker than it is now, but it will be later. Uh, this actually has a lot of different colors. Um, these are all the colors here. We went with the violet right there. If you guys can see that. And then we have the light blue. So you got, can find this off of Amazon. That's what we did. Got all our stuff off of Amazon. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and just get started. Um, Okay guys, so it is the next day. We did patch test Mello. He's all clear. Um, he didn't get an allergic reaction or anything to it. So we are going to go ahead and dye his tail today. Um, his purple dye came in. But before we do that, we have to brush him. So we're using these combs. I got these combs from the Dollar Tree. I normally use these when grooming him because they're just such great combs. Um, they do break but for grooming his tail he prefers them they really get like any knots in his fur out and then we do have our like wired brush along with a regular brush and a pair of scissors in case we need to um cut anything out but we're gonna go ahead and brush this guy's tail i did start brushing it some um but there is one knot and i do want to make sure that all the knots are out um so we don't have any uneven dyeing you know, brush his tail. So, we have all the things we need. We have a sheet because what you're actually supposed to do is cut a hole in an empty sheet or an old sheet or a towel and stick their tail through and then wrap it over. We have, so we just have a sheet that we used to use for like painting and stuff. We have the blue dye. This is the purple we're using. I have two gloves, um, two hair brushing um, things, tin foil, and then I have scissors in the brush. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with dyeing his tail. We're gonna take the tail and just pull all that through.
So I'm gonna move the camera over for Paige. She's on the purple. So we have finished dyeing Mello's tail. I did it to the best. It was kind of hard. He has so much thick hair. So if I do like see a spot that like needs to be like redone or something, I will later. But this is what it looks like. Just a little preview. I have it wrapped in tin foil, and now I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes to let it like, well, stay to let it completely like dye and stuff. And we'll catch you guys when we're rinsing it out. Mello, stay. Okay guys, it has been 30 minutes. Um, I went ahead and took the tin foil off and we're going to go rinse Mello's tail out. So we'll catch you guys when we're down by the... This is how Mello's tail turned out. Um, really happy with it the coloring is super gorgeous and this is it in the sun um so got the blue into the purple and it's so pretty um you know i really like it and the colors turned out really nice you know they aren't too dark or too light i as you saw like some of his roots are not completely dyed but it's still very nice. 